everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries. I am making another batch of soap. This is another wholesale batch. I think I'm going to hold part of this out though for um, to restock my soap. I did one yesterday, Rosemary Mint, and got a bunch of messages about it. So I'll probably do the same with that one as well. And this is just my life solution. So I just want to get this emulsified. I can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera or not. It's not totally there, but it's also thickening up. It's quite cold. It's snowing here today. And I um, got this already yesterday, my lye water. And so everything is at room temperature. It's about 69, 70 degrees in here. And this feels much colder to my hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. I'm not going to add my fragrance to this one because this fragrance can um, speed things up. And I want to make sure I have enough time for my swirls. I do a drop swirl on this one. This is one of my favorites. I don't know if I mentioned what I'm doing. This is teakwood and cardamom. Did I say that already? My daughter's saying no, I didn't say that already. My four-year-old says I did, but I think I'm going to listen to my older daughter. So I'm going to split this off. It's so heavy. I'm not quite sure how much I want. I think I'm going to go a little bit more than I did. Okay, this is brown. This one's going to be white, and the main batch is gold. This is kind of just a shimmer gold though, so it's just a hint of gold. This maintains a lot of the natural color. This is a great unisex scent. Um, I market it in my masculine line, but this is really very gender neutral. It's one of my favorites. You like this one too, don't you? Yes. This is a yummy one. And this one's good in a lot of different products. It's good in um, candles and melts, too. People really like it. And the candles and the melts. I am going to stick one this, but I'm going to go ahead and mix it up by hand first. Because this container is pretty hard to stick blend. I have a more powerful stick blender that I got. But when I was mixing up the oils with it yesterday, it was so powerful, it was just sucking down to the bottom. So I decided not to use it. But I'm questioning. I might have to try it. my titanium dioxide cup and it went flying but we've got the carpet pretty well protected 
for that reason. All right, so I'm going to pour in some gold. Oh, I was supposed to draw lines on these, darn it, I forgot. Oh, I'll just eyeball it. Um, I meant to draw lines so that I could see how high I'm pouring. I want to, I want the bars to be pretty even. I did not intend to start pouring that yet, but I actually think I have more color than I wanted. This is staying really fluid. That's unusual for this. It normally gets really thick and I have to work really fast. But because I prepared for that today, it's going to play nice. And this is just going to be a drop swirl. This is one of my favorites, not just because of the fragrance, but I love the colors. It's just the gold and the brown and the white together. They're just really elegant and pretty, I think. Hope you can see. I'm not really. I know right there the bucket's in your way, but unfortunately, there's only so much I can do. Okay, I'm gonna save the rest for the top. Try to scrape as much of this as I can out. These are really hard to scrape out. Okay, I just got these smacked down um, so that they're even, and I'm just going to finish off the top. I'm going to try really hard to keep these as level as possible. Right now I shrink wrap all of my soaps and I am going to be transitioning to boxes which is something that I've talked about for a long time and I finally decided to do that. So I'm getting some boxes ordered that are specific to my soap. I'm hoping it's going to save me some time. Only thing I'm concerned about is weather because I do do shows outdoors, although I won't be doing as many anymore. And with me doing embeds on some soaps, um, that could be a problem. So I might have to shrink wrap some. You know, shrink wrap them and slip them into a box. But one of the main reasons I want to go to a box is um, to help keep the soaps protected because they, they travel. You know, when I ship them, I don't want them to be damaged, so I try to pack them like crazy. Um, Okay, just some mica for the top. Hopefully I saved enough. I try to save more than I would normally save. But anyway, um, you know, I pack them, try to pack them really well so that they're not damaged. But when I take them to and from shows, damage happens and then we end up with the soap. I, I use the soap or I sell it at a discount or something. I mean, the soap is still fine. I just want to make sure that my customers are getting something pretty. So 
So if they're too damaged, I won't sell them. Okay, I'm going to swirl the top. So I'm trying to limit um, how much damage happens. I'm just trying to protect them a little bit more. So I hope boxes help with that. And then the time aspect. The, the girls can help me with, with boxes, but shrink wrapping takes forever. And I shrink wrap all of my products because I seal everything. Because again, it shows people like to open products and use things that aren't the testers. And I want to make sure that when my customers buy from me, they're getting a brand new product. Some days it seems like it doesn't matter how many signs you have that says tester, please use tester. People open the brand new one. Even if it's a pump top that's locked, they still open it. Um, so shrink wrapping them has helped. Though, believe it or not, people still try to open the shrink wrap pro product to try to. So I don't know, but I do. I just do what I can. So, and I figured to display these, I'll shrink wrap one bar or take it out of the box. I don't know. That I have not figured out yet, but I will. Anyway, here is teakwood and cardamom. Don't go anywhere. I will have the cutting after this. All right, here's teakwood and cardamom. Out of the mold. I love this one. I love the swirls. I am cutting this on my single cutter because my bars are a little shorter than usual. If you watched my rosemary mint video, oops, I kind of explained why. Um, so they're a little wider than usual. I love this one. I'm going to keep that one out for pictures. I try to pull out um, my favorite as I go so I can take pictures from my website. And because these are mostly wholesale, I need to take pictures for my wholesale customers. What are you doing back there? I'm just seeing the chair. Oh, you're just seeing the chair? Okay. Yeah. My daughter is in here with me. I'm having a hard time seeing in my viewfinder with the camera at this angle. It looks really, really dark to me. Um, but I had a light on, another light on, and it was casting a lot of shadows. So I don't know how well you can see. I hope that it's not dark. But I'll post some pictures at the end of the video. Um, so this soap, I think I mentioned, I made this several days ago, so I don't remember. But it is a wholesale soap. I know I did talk about that. And I am going to keep some of it out. This is one that's in my regular line as well. It's very popular. It goes very fast. I have one bar left on my website right now. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep some of these bars back for my website. I'm going to do one more loaf. This is the middle loaf from the other batch. So pretty. Um, but yeah, I'll probably hold back a bunch or some from each of my wholesale loaves because I'm going to make some that I haven't made before, like the rosemary mint. I've made rosemary mint before for my wholesale customers um, and some custom orders, but I haven't put that in my regular line except for in bath bombs. pretty. Keep that one out. So if you see a favorite, um, check my website because when they're cured I will list, list these. But I'm probably not going to list them, um, let's see, it's the end of February. It's going to be in April before I list these, I think best place to keep track of what's going on, what I'm doing, okay. updates, um, sales, videos, what I'm making, what I'm working on, what's being posted is Facebook. My Facebook group, I'm more active there than anywhere else. I'm trying to be more active there. Um, 
but if you go down to the description box below, I've got a link to the Facebook group. You can also search it on Facebook, Stargazer Luxuries. I do ask some questions. It's just simply to make sure you're not a bot or, a, um, you know, I want to make sure you're a real person and that you really want to be in the group. So just take a second and answer one of the questions for me. But uh, my Facebook page as well, I post there, just not as often, and Instagram. Um, and then, of course, on my website, StargazerLuxuries.com. So this soap will eventually be there, and many others, and other good stuff. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, maybe even leave me a message, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.